processing of single sediment rich specimen at a time to make a cell block with micro unit. Note, sediment rich specimens are defined as specimens more than 1 ml in quantity with more than 50% tissue grit. The videos proceed at rapid pace for quick viewing. Please pause and play as needed. Tissue crit is proportion of sediments, with diagnostic cellular material without blood, in final concentrated specimen. Concentrate by centrifuging, as much specimen volume, as possible to get maximum amount of sediment. To pour off the supernatant gently, by inverting, the centrifuge tube, by 180 degree in one smooth movement. Pour off the entire supernatant. Return the tube to its starting position, as quickly as possible, to avoid accidental loss of sediment pellet, especially of blood-rich specimens. Resuspend the sediment, in minimal supernatant part, to get more than 0.5 ml, off final concentrated specimen. Important note. Use standard precautions for processing all body specimens. Red color of specimen is for depiction purpose only. It does not imply that all specimens would be red or pink. Although 10% formalin is used in the demonstration, any other reagent or fixative may be replaced for 10% formalin, as required by the user protocol. Structure of micro unit explained with longitudinal and cross sections. Functioning of micro unit. The particulate component of the concentrated specimen sediment accumulate in the wells and sponge, as the fluid component of the specimen is absorbed into the absorption pad below. Micro units in pack number one. Ancillary is provided in pack number two. The performing lab will require a few additional supporting supplies. Label the cell block, making micro unit. Transfer 0.5 to 1 ml of concentrated specimen with transfer pipette. On to the top of the sponge disc with wells, so that all the wells are flooded with the concentrated specimen up to the top of the circle over the sponge disc. Wait for 10 minutes until most of the liquid component of the specimen is settled down and absorbed into the absorbent pad. Gently, add 4 to 6 drops of 10% formalin over the sponge disc imbibed with concentrated specimen and wait for 10 minutes until most of the formalin is diffused into the absorbent pad. Label the tissue cassette. Wet one of the tissue sponges by immersing in 10% formalin. Lay flat the wet tissue sponge into the bottom of the tissue cassette. Place the cell block making unit into the tissue cassette as shown in the video. Pull out and discard the black carrier plate with absorbent pad. Dislodge the sponge disc with the help of pipette tip if needed onto the wet tissue sponge. Set aside the transparent sleeve for discarding. Put tissue paper cover on the disc sponge. Place second tissue sponge. Moistened with the same 10% formalin in transfer container on the tissue paper cover. Snap, close the lid of the tissue cassette. Put the closed tissue cassette with the final sponge disc in the transfer container with 10% formalin. Take precaution to place and retain the cassette in horizontal position. With bottom down using packing material such as balled up paper napkins or other suitable materials standardized by the user. Fix in horizontal position with bottom down for at least two hours and send for tissue processing. The cassettes with bottom down should be fixed and transported in horizontal position for tissue processing. Discard the consumed materials. Summary of procedure. Step 1. 
add concentrated specimen on the sponge disc. Step 2, let the fluid portion of the specimen settle down into the absorbent pad for 10 minutes, followed by addition of formalin fixative, allowed to be diffused into the absorbent pad for 10 minutes. Step 3, transfer the sponge disc with concentrated specimen sediments into the tissue cassette. Step 4, put the sponge disc with concentrated sediments and covered with tissue paper cover, between two tissue sponges in tissue cassette. Step 5, let the cassette fix in horizontal position, with bottom down for more than 2 hours. Summary Procedure on one page